Hello, I'm Margaret and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give a very brief overview of what's in store for the 12 animal signs uh, of the Chinese zodiac for the month of September 2022. Now some of the animal signs will enjoy good energies and others will need to be a little bit more careful. So um, please do not think that just because uh, you know you hear that this month might be a little bit more problematic for your animal sign or not that good for you you will therefore have a very bad month bad month but uh, that is definitely not the case uh, with a positive attitude and uh, hard work with uh, combined of course with the knowledge that I'm going to be giving you today uh, you know for what's uh, ahead in the month um, or what's in store for you um, you will be able to avoid uh, many of these problems and uh, disappointments. So armed with this uh, knowledge, you can uh, be better prepared for the month of September 2022. So again, please remember that the animal signs do not really dictate your future. It's just a measurement of time, space, and energy. So what you do with this information is, uh, of course, very important. Uh, you know, and uh, what you do with your time is going to be uh, what dictates the, what the future will look for you, okay? And that will be what really matters, okay? So anyway, let's get started. Um, okay, so in this slide, you will see the compass directions of the 24 mountains. The 12 animal signs and their corresponding sectors and also the flying star energies of september 2022 in each of the sectors uh, of course excluding the center now the month's flying star energies will affect each sector as well as the animal that is in those particular sectors okay so let's start with the first animal sign which is the rat now the outlook for the rat this year uh, this month uh, is pretty good you know the career and money lack will be uh, supercharged this month and there will be uh, lots of opportunities to uh, you know showcase your skills and uh, you know the pace this month will be a little bit faster it will pick up at work as well the stars in the rats as sector uh, combined to do uh, to have the sum of 10 luck which is a completion luck so it kind of brings a, a lot of success vibes and uh, so for this month I would suggest that you enjoy the good fortune that this month's energy brings okay now let's get on to the second animal sign which is the ox now your luck this month takes a little bit of a dip with the with the loss and betrayal star uh, taking up residence in a particular sector uh, there may be some unexpected uh, expenses and the possibility of getting uh, cheated uh, so just be careful with uh, with your business and work and finances avoid making any risky investments for now and single uh, those uh, uh, ox signs out there that are singles uh, maybe you should just also refrain from starting a relationship relationship while those uh, who are already in a relationship must be a little bit more careful and must be uh, you know must be weary of the signs of uh, some sort of infidelity okay so this is just a sort of a heads up okay now the next animal sign is the tiger now the tiger might uh, have a pretty stressful month this month uh, you know it has uh, the energies uh, indicates a bit of unexpected expenses maybe caused by some uh, minor mishaps uh, tigers will also be kind of the center of uh, some office politics this month and some people might be pretty unscrupulous and uh, and uh, and you might be <clears throat> caught uh, competing against them for some sort of uh, share in some sort of projects that type of thing but uh, 
you know, uh, just be careful that sometimes when you're competing with the other people who might be a little bit as scrupulous, they might actually use some sort of tactics uh, that will be a little bit more unconventional, okay? But uh, luck is on your side and you will come out on top but uh, probably you know it might uh, cost you a bit okay so again be aware of this uh, possible competition and some sort of betrayal you have also to be uh, careful of uh, for your health and uh, personal um, how do you call it? be aware that uh, you know of personal injuries that might occur so again, you have to be careful in your activities, okay? And uh, so overall, it's a month to, you know, that I suggest that you have to be a bit more careful in your overall activities. Now, let's come on, let's uh, get on to the rabbit, the next animal sign. And uh, what we have here is the illness start uh, pays a visit to your sector. So it can cause a bit of uh, your energy to weaken and uh, and possibly also increase the risk of illness so there's also some sort of clash in your element which can cause some disharmony in your relationship with other people and uh, you know maybe even affecting uh, your mental health as well so it's best for the rabbits to maintain a low profile and uh, this month and uh, probably have less interaction with uh, uh, people especially important people and uh, you know wait to uh, you know wait till maybe next month you know so you know delay dealing with all these important people it might be better for you uh, you know for your luck in, in the long run okay so let's get on to the dragon. Now, I mean, for this month, it seems like there's going to be a, 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 a month where it, a lot of people around you seem to have suddenly, <clears throat> you know, uh, kind of, you might feel a little bit more abandoned this time. They become a little bit less cooperative this month. And this is because uh, the energies of the quarrelsome star has entered your sectors so um, you know dragons will find it a little bit uh, problematic with their colleagues uh, to ask them for assistance in their work and it is uh, actually if that does happen it is not a good time for you to throw a temper tantrum uh, because what what it's gonna do is just gonna cause some sort of animosity between you and your colleagues as well you know so it's the best time for the dragon to work on projects of your own uh you're you know if you're in an argumentative mood and uh, you're working closely with other people or your colleagues it could actually lead to uh, misunderstandings or you know uh, verbal altercations so it is actually best that you uh, undertake projects that you can do on your own and uh, mind you, the creative energies are still strong for this year. So work on those, okay? Now let's get on to the next animal sign, which is the snake. The snake lock uh, takes a bit of a dip this month and it can, uh, how do you call it, affect your relationship with the people around you. And there are many things that uh, that you have to do this month and you probably can't find time to do it. You seem to not have enough time to do it. So uh, snakes, uh, if you're in a work environment, will need the support of your colleagues, but they are, again, less uh, cooperative this month. And, uh, you know, um, with the argumentative star it coming to your sector, uh, you might feel a little bit uh, upset and uh, again, uh, you know, do not get angry just because you haven't uh, gotten your way. If things do not go your way, do not get angry. Uh, the good news is that your creative energies are 
uh, still extremely strong this year. So work on those product projects that you can actually do on your own and actually make use of those creative juices that you have. Okay. Now let's get on to the next animal sign, which is the goat. Now the energy levels of the goat or the sheep has uh, uh, improved considerably this month. Uh, with the victory star flying into your sector. Now, uh, granted that is the case, you feel that you can handle more work and with new opportunities uh, comes uh, maybe possibility of career advancement or if you're in the business sector, uh, you know, um, with this type of energies and opportunities, you can have, you know, you can see some potential business growth. So, you know, a young goats or sheep can uh, excel in their studies as well. So take advantage of this uh, auspicious energies of the month, okay? Now, you have, still have to be a little bit cautious and careful because the illness uh, energy is still on the cards. And uh, so, you know, uh, you still have to watch out and uh, take care of your health. Now let's get on to the monkeys. Now the monkeys seems to have new adventures this uh, month uh, with the Victor Star paying, uh, paying you a visit in your sector. And uh, it will be much better than last month. You will feel a bit more energet energetic, but uh, this could also result in you feeling a little bit restless with all those energy that you have to uh, expend, you know. So if you can channel this excess energy into your work, then great. So productivity will increase and it could lead to some, uh, you know, exciting new projects that uh, or prospects that was uh, probably not, you know, uh, visible or available. And, uh, you know, but with your energy, maybe, you know, it will actually be the timing, you know, it will create this. Uh, exciting opportunity and prospects. Now, for monkeys that are, you know, the young monkeys, uh, you can have some sort of uh, 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 adventures that are actually, you know, in store for you. So it is a good time, an auspicious time for you to try new things. So be a little bit more brave and uh, but then again, as uh, the illness star is still also in this particular sector, you have to actually watch out for your health. So health lock is still a bit of a concern here, okay? Now let's get on to the rooster. Now the rooster is, uh, <clears throat> how do you call it? It's uh, blessed with the heaven lock, uh, which brings uh, much good fortune. And there is, a, you know, an indication of a windfall. Uh, and you also will be probably recognized for the work that you've done in the past. It is pretty, that, that type of energy is pretty high this month. So if there are also problems that need to be solved, uh, there will be someone that could actually, uh, you know, uh, with the answers, who actually can... Uh, Help you in that, uh, you know, in that uh, area, but uh, you have still, uh, but you still have to be careful to beware because there is still a risk of physical injury this month. So again, you know, when it comes to overall activities, if you're into sports or anything like that, just be more careful. Okay. Now, the dog needs to kind of lie low this month. You know and uh, also need to take extra care of their health, uh, the money, finances, the relationships this month, as uh, the, you know, the misfortune star uh, threatens to disrupt uh, different aspects of life. And uh, so um, it's best to uh, not gamble or, you know, go into risky investment. Uh, so again, the dog should lie low until maybe next month uh, before embarking on any big decisions or significant changes uh, in direction, let's say, in your business. And wait till next month as your luck uh, significantly, significantly improves, okay? 
Now, we get on to the last animal sign, and that's the sign of the pig. I think that uh, with the pig, you still you have to look after your health. Uh, with the misfortune star, of course, it also brings the possibility of illness, finances, money loss, and relationship challenges to the pig this month. Uh, you know, maybe the relationship aspect takes a beating and it can cause some sort of uh, problems or challenges in your in both your personal and professional uh, relationships so there are also health issues and health concerns so the this is actually the best month for the pigs to just lie low this month and then like the lo like the dogs wait till their luck improves next month before you venture into some uh, other <clears throat> uh, investment especially uh, investment uh, you know um, business or investment uh, activities okay so this is the forecast or the feng shui outlook for the 12 animal sign uh, for the month of september well i hope that you give glean some uh, you know insights into what the month ahead is in, has in store for you so hopefully um you know um if you've enjoyed this uh, video please uh you know like give a thumbs up and uh, please like it and subscribe to my channel also please share this video with your family and friends who might be interested uh in knowing what the month has in store for them as well okay so it's margaret saying bye bye for now thank you for watching